Hello everybody and welcome to another Honkai Star Rail video. Today, as you can see, we are in a different setting than the usual. Um, all my other videos were in the old house. Um, I am now, I have my setup in the new house. It, it has been a rough few days moving in, for sure. But, uh, yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna release a video talking about kind of the whole move and everything. But for now, Let's just talk about the the characters that have come out. Yun Li is going to be coming to the game, and she is a physical destruction character. Honestly, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I, I really do like her designs. I think it's one of the one of the nicest designs in the game. Um, everything like her dress is really cool. Um, the flames in the background. I kind of assumed that she was going to be fire, but she's not. Um, it's kind of like a Link situation where it's like a little kid in the snow, so you think they're going to be ice, but then they're just quantum for some reason. Um, yeah, got all the swords. I don't know if she actually uses a sword herself or like physically wields one in her hand or she controls them with like magic or something. Um, either way, I think it's probably going to be pretty cool. The thing about Honkai Star Rail, the thing about Hoyoverse is they always knock it out of the park with their destruction characters. So... With that being said, I'm definitely going to, despite the fact that we already have two characters that are physical destruction, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say, maybe this character will be different enough from Clara, similarly to how Akron was different enough from Kafka. Now, I could definitely see how this could happen, because Clara is probably easy to make someone who is very different than her, due to her whole shtick being counterattacks and things like that. I do wish there was more character, maybe just one more character in the game that was based off of counterattacks, but definitely not Yun Li. That is definitely not where I would like to see that. Just like straight up uh, Clara 2. Um, that's not what I want to see, but yeah, physical destruction comes in as the very first uh, category to actually have three different characters with um, the element and the path. Next one is going to be Zhao Kui. Uh, Zhao Kui is the is a fire nihility character. I assume that this character is going to be um, the character that is meant to be paired with Acheron because I believe that this guy is probably going to be the one who is meant to replace Pela on teams on the Acheron teams. Um, I assume that he's going to have very very strong debuffs. Um, hopefully some defense debuffs. Maybe even. Um, Puts a debuff on the enemy that uh, lowers their their toughness. So maybe whenever um, somebody uses an attack against them, it breaks even more of their toughness bar. Just someone who also maybe you know kind of fits into a um, into a break effect team. I think that would be really cool. A debuffer that fits into a break effect team. Um, but who knows? Who knows? Um, but anyway, yeah, I think that this character. I think the design is okay. Um, it makes sense that we have male Ting Yun now um, because there was this is the first male of this Foxian race from the Janjo Luofu. Um, that we just didn't get a male in, in the first time that we were in the Janjo, so now we are getting it. So, yeah, that's going to be five star Fire Nihility. Next up is going to be March 7th. I really, really wish that she was going to get a 5-star version and not a 4-star version. I know people are really excited just because it's March 7th. This is actually extremely disappointing in my opinion. It makes me very sad. I, I feel like there actually is a high possibility that unless they make March 7th purposely a much stronger 4-star than the average, that she's just not going to get used even in her new form, and it's really, really sad. And at that point, it's like, okay, well, then why didn't you just make this a skin? Because I think a March 7th skin would have sold better. And then, like, you know, rather than just releasing it as a new character that nobody wants to play because it's a four star that's kind of mid, you know? So we're going to have to see what the strength, what the power is whenever it comes out. But yeah, until then, thank you all for watching. I appreciate you, uh, you know, for watching this to the end. And I'll see you in the next video.